Carver McGriff. I was in the Army, 90th Infantry Division. My age at that point was 19. We got out of the water bought up to my chest here. We started up this sandy area and were hundreds of men inside. This was the second day of D-Day for Utah Beach. We had no idea what we were gonna do or where it would happen. But it was the beginning. As to how we were captured, they assigned us to be able to go up that hill. We had to take it because otherwise we're facing an enemy who can see us. They can aim their artillery. We were surrounded by the Germans. Well, we didn't have much ammunition left. So our officer wisely said, we're gonna have to give up. So we said, surrender, surrender. We put our hands up and we had to step out in front of them. Had a couple of big pieces of metal in one leg, bullet holes in the other, and they gave me medical care and then moved me to a hospital where I was able to survive for a month before the 8th Infantry Division broke through and recaptured us. Well, I'm always glad to arrive, partly because of, of the crosses. It's still powerful. It's still grand. I look at that 90 some hundred crosses and everyone is meticulous in its preservation. And when we go there, I say to the people, don't get out there in little groups and walk around and talk about it. Go in by yourself if you can, stand in front of those crosses, pick one out, say the name of the boy who fought there and died there and remind yourself that he's been there long enough now that even his parents are probably gone and maybe nobody has said a prayer for that boy but you can after we spend a good amount of time wandering through the crosses of Omaha Beach. We go to a nearby German cemetery and it has the remains of thousands of German boys. And I say to the people, those boys didn't know what they were doing except what they were told to do. And so we ask that everyone in our group stop in front of a German cemetery and say a prayer for him. We got two choices. We can say to ourselves what awful people they are. We can treat them as they maybe deserve. We can prevent them from having the joys of life that we have, or we can forgive them. And that's all we did. I want kids today to have some idea what it was like. I know darn well they could never get the feel of it, and I hope they never do. But young people want to know and need to know. Everybody I saw that I was glad to fight alongside them, they were willing to stand up and go out and not all of them came back.